Hi Capricorn, I'm Anisha. You can write to me at tarobyanisha at gmail.com. You can also visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com and this is your monthly forecast for February 2016. Capricornians, you begin the month with Mars that is aspecting a part of your chart that speaks about groups of people. It speaks about your hobbies, it speaks about your goals, your desires, your passions and you wanting to associate with a large group. This is a time where you are going to be driven. Mars is going to be giving you its entire energy to pursue your dreams. This is a time also when you are going to be enthusiastic about ideas that are considered quite futuristic. It's a good time to be working in a group which holds the similar values and goals as you do and you would be benefiting a lot from the similar goals and desires that the group has. It's a brilliant time for you to be doing some good humanitarian work as well. For some of you, you will find yourself attaching yourself with some NGOs or doing some amount of charity work. It's a time where you will find yourself that you're dreaming a lot about future Capricornians and uh, also there is because Mars is there more than dreaming I think there seems to be an action plan as well that you're going to be uh, putting as well and being a Capricornian of course it is more action and less words are going to be there. We have Venus and Pluto that are conjuncting in your house and that's quite a brilliant thing and this energy is going to be making you really assertive this month. This is a nobody better mess with me transit Capricornians. So a lot of you uh, in the past who have been sort of been sitting on the side, sitting on the fence and sitting and waiting your time, this is a time where pretty much you're going to be jumping right in between and saying okay I'm going to be dealing with this and bring it on. Some of you can become a bit too much to be dealing with so try and tone down the aggression a bit. Pluto is however going to be bringing up a lot of stuff from under the surface and this speaks about issues that have not been resolved. So you will hear yourself quite often this month saying remember 10 years back this is what you did. Try and not indulge into that Capricornian. For those of you of course who need closure and who need to be saying it please do go ahead. For some of you you're going to be attracting people who are unfortunately going to be pressing your buttons this month. I think this is, it, it's an entire energy of what you're seeking and what you're getting Capricornians and Pluto is just going to be acting as a trigger with you. We have Venus over there, hopefully she should try and soften it, but the Plutonian energy is pretty volatile. So I really don't see much of a softening of the Plutonian blow that is going to be there. Now since Pluto is there in your own house and it's speaking about a complete, it's a complete rehaul of the self. So all that it is that you desire, your own dreams, your desires, what it is that you want out of life, how it is that you want to be perceived, how it is that you want the world to perceive you. Pluto is just coming and doing this entire overhaul for you and it's making you relook at the life that you have led so far. Which can be quite scary because all along you would have thought that you're on the right track and this is what you think needs to get done. And with the Plutonian energy, you could be looking at some very core fundamental values of yours, giving them a second look and saying that, you know what, I don't think so that this really works. You will find, some of you are going to be finding it quite exhausting and painful to a certain extent. But the trick really dealing with the Plutonian energy, Capricornians, is to let go. Just step back and just let it unfold. Also try not to sort of come in too much in the way of your own transformation. If certain situations, certain people have come in as form of lessons, accept them with gratitude, with graciousness and let them go. It's really a time for you to be evolving and moving ahead. We have Venus that is squaring Uranus in the house, in your own house of home. It's a house with which you share uh, with others. It's a space, uh, it's a house of cancer and it's also the house of your own mother. It's an, image, uh, it's an immensely emotional house, Capricornians, and because we have uh, Uranus over there along with uh, Venus, there can be some amount of a renovation that you can expect around this time, that you could be renovating uh, the place and you could be just, um, maybe your home life could be in a state of flux as well during the cycle. It's also possible that some of you will move houses. Maybe some of you are going to be investing into a new house. Maybe some of you are going to be buying a new house. And there could be some amount of disruptions to your natural domestic routines or even erratic elements that could be there. Your life could, be, could speed up during this time and decision making can be quite hasty around this time. 
it's just a time Capricorn is where you feel you may feel a need to be taking an action during this time and there can be a lot of unexpected changes that you can expect it can be that you may find that things are quite out of control and all of this it can also be during this time that you are if you have home staff maybe there's a, a, a you know too frequently you're changing the staff at home they're coming and going maybe your parent if you live with a parent your parent is just being extremely erratic and just doing the renovation at home is just getting to be a bit more tedious we have a new moon in your house of earned income and self-worth and uh, this is speaking about a heightened sensitivity to your physical environment and to the security that you gain from the world around you and your own ability to generate that money and uh, new moon over here of course is speaking about a new opportunity it's speaking about a time where in that uh, there seems to be an appreciation of the physical world really in the materialistic sense and you will be setting financial goals for yourself and you are also going to be formulating things as budgets and other sensible things like financial planning and so on and so forth and it's a brilliant time for you to be discovering newer ways to be increasing your income so some of you will actually moonlight and do a second job and it's all even comforting endeavors we have sun that conjuncts Neptune on the 20th and this is once in a year transit and it's aspecting a part of your chart that speaks about networking, it speaks about travel, it speaks about communication, it's a house of Mercury and it also rules your siblings. It's a time wherein that Neptune is going to be giving your own personal sense of reality quite a change. You may find that the area or the, your own communication softens to a, not just softens, I think it um, it goes a change in the sense that maybe either there is a lack of clarity as to how it is and what is it that you want to express. Neptune, since it's coming and aspecting a part of your house that speaks about uh, communication, any form of communication, be it emails, SMSs, just ensure that you are absolutely clear about what it is that you are writing, what it is that you are conveying. Be extra careful when you are making presentations, when you are meeting clients and ensure what it is that you are promising, whether it can be delivered or not. It's also a time where you will find yourself being quite vulnerable to deception and betrayal. It's not the best of times keep recording to be going out and trusting people and uh, you know whether it can be a promised job that you go in and put in your papers. It can be even a new project that gets promised but never really uh, gets uh, converted or never really gets implemented. So try sort of not chase the fairy gold this month. It's also a time wherein um, it's a good time to be relying on your intuition because Neptune is all about inspiration. It's about uh, a time which really speaks about listening more to your uh, intuition. It's a fantastic time for all creative uh, endeavors. So for those of you who are uh, theater artists, who are painters, uh, writers, it's a great time. Maybe you will produce one of your best works during this time. However, it can be that uh, you could find yourself maybe escaping too much into the imaginary world because maybe reality for some of you which is very unlike the Capricornian quality but during the Neptunian phase you may find yourself that you really are not up to dealing with the reality as of now. For a little while, yes, sure, go ahead but try and not sort of make it into your um, a constant escape route. Look things for what they are, let the Neptunian transit get over before you take action Capricornians. It's been a pleasure speaking with you Capricornians. I'll see you again next month and thank you so much for watching.